Hey, what's going on everybody? Mark Frank Montoya here. Wanted to put this clip together for you today. The blog post, How to Catch the Waves of Success. This is what I've done a couple times now and it just has set my life up. I'll probably never have a money problem again just because of this. It's not that I'm talented, I'm some kind of business guru, genius. No, it's that timing is more important than talent. And you always have to be at the right place, right time. So many people have always, they've been at the right place, right time, but they just don't take massive and immediate action when they see it. They sit around and their fears get the best of them. Oh, what if I lose money? Oh, what if, what if, what if I fail? What if I get rejection? You know, and all these fears that hold them back from all their success. And right past your fear is your freedom, your total financial freedom. So this is what I'm going to show you how I've been able to catch these waves. I didn't care what people thought about me. I only cared about what I thought, what I believed in. I knew the acai berry was coming into the States and was going to be a big buzz. So I took action. I didn't care whether people thought I was crazy. I just went for it because I knew it was a good idea. And the company ended up being one of the fastest growing companies to a billion dollars in American history. Created 107 millionaires in four years. And I'll be paid on that for the rest of my life, most likely. So, again, it was just about taking action. And so I've been able to get mentors. These are, these, are, these are just wealth principles that I've learned from wealth books, not school books that teach you how to get a job, get a safe, secure job. Not any of that nonsense. I'm talking about starting your own business and going after it, taking risks to get the reward. So again, that's not like I'm the smartest guy. I know people that are 10 times smarter than me, but I will always make more money because I use faster business vehicles. So in the worst recession since the Great Depression, we're involved with a business that grew $300 million last year. So while everybody else is laying their people off, 16 million people got laid off because they've been told, go to school, get a safe, secure job. They pretty, pretty much figured out that there's nothing safe, secure about that. That's actually dangerous. They put their life in somebody else's hands, and then they got laid off, and they're, they're, they're in a mess right now. So people are kind of pulling their head out right now and starting to figure out, well, man, maybe I can just you know, get my own business work from home and then I have safety and security from building my own business because then it depends on me. And so what we teach is how to be involved with businesses that move fast. I'm not talking about, you know, getting a, some dead-end job at Macintosh. Macintosh goes through S-wave, S-curves, has growth windows, stuff like that, ups and downs, things like that, but there's not really a way to get a piece of that pie in traditional business. So we get involved with companies that you can be partnered with you know, Wall Street companies with a 5A1 rating, people that you can partner with and get pieces of this pie that will set you up for the rest of your life. So every company, every product, every launch goes through this same thing. It's called an S-curve, growth windows, okay, momentum. And there's always stages. It goes from the innovation, where they, the formulation and innovation to a little concentration to critical mass and then to stabilization. Here's the sweet spot, when you want to work, right around here, okay? And you always have th these innovators, and then the, the, the same kind of stages as early adopters. You know, when the DVD came out, you had the early adopters, the geeky guys that really knew about the new technology, and, and they were excited, and they had some good product experience. And then you had the late adopters where everybody else came in, and then the traditionalists that only come in after everything, after every, everybody else is doing it, only do it when it's safe and they're kind of you know, the followers that do what everybody else does. And those, the traditionalists always make almost no money. You know, they're always late to the, the situation. And so really what you want to be doing is being an early adopter. And what we have now, if you noticed, Facebook came out. Nobody really knew about it. There was just a couple people that kind of little buzz came out, and then all of a sudden, bam, everybody knew about it. And then it stabilized. That's what's going on here. So we've been really good at being in front of the wave. What you want to do, if you want, ever want to be successful, you want to be in front of the wave, not on top of it, not behind it uh, after everything's come out. You need to really pay attention to trends and timing. I'm not talking about smaller fad trends like skinny jeans. You know, that's only a couple hundred million or whatever. If you, if you, you know, it would be cool if you would have known about skinny jeans before it came out. You, maybe you could have started something up being the authority on skinny jeans, but you never know when that's going to go out. So we don't really mess with you know, smaller fads and gamble on trends to go in and out of style and stuff. We 
go for the trillion dollar trends. What I've been taught by wealthy people is be where the money is. Find a headache in the marketplace and give it an aspirin and fix huge problems with good solutions and you make a lot of money. The bigger the problem, the better you know, the bigger the solution, the more money you make. So we know where the trillions of dollars are. And if you get with where the money is, and if you're willing to come out of your comfort zone to learn something new that, that will set you up, then it's worth it. You, you have to be able to have the courage to learn something new. A lot of people sit around and, oh, no, I'm okay with my job because they have their comfort zone. They're, oh, I'm, I'm comfortable here, you know. Really, that's not, a comfort zone. that's not a comfort zone. That's an enslavement zone. And you'll get stuck in your ruts and routines, but you really have these big dreams, but you have to shrink down your dreams to match that income because you got caught up in that instant gratification. No, I want the money now. I want it, every, I want it right now, every two weeks. Instead, if you're willing to take risk to get the reward, you're willing to go after something and search for better, that's when things will change for you. If you're willing to adapt to the new changing ways of today, today's business, it changes every single day. If you're willing to adapt and learn something, I mean, if you don't have a lot of money sitting around right now, and you've been working for five or ten years, then something's not working. You can't do the same thing over and over again, expect a different result. You've got to try something else. If you don't have a thousand, couple thousand bucks laying around in free, free cash flow, then that's, that hasn't been working for you. Time to get with something that does work. So be able, to be able to catch these waves, you need to know what's going on, right? Baby boomers. Big problems mean big solutions. And that's what I'm talking about here. If you ever want to go searching and want to know what's going on, we're very good at being at the right place at the right time and taking massive and immediate action to get a piece of that pie, and we can help you do that. So I hope you liked the clip today. We'll talk to you soon.